Hello everybody, it's your old buddy Jim. You know, the guy that's into preparedness from Upper East Tennessee. Today's Friday, I hope everybody's had a good week. I'm off for a couple of days. So, if you're, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. It's been an interesting week to say the least. As you can tell, I'm not in uh, Upper East Tennessee. I'm up at my sister's place. I'm dog and cat sitting because they have took uh, my boys on a little weekend excursion. So if you're a praying person, pray they have safe travels and a safe trip. They should have a blast. But I'm going to run back over later and mow my yard. I brought them up here so they could leave and get to where they're going so they can get settled in and get them something to eat. They're awful excited. So, uh, I'm not going to say where they're going, but they're going to get to go to a Major League Baseball game. So, they're really excited. So, it's been a good week for me. It worked all week. I'm going to work, have to work some overtime. But that's all right, too. Extra money's always good. The way things are going, of course, inflation's now at zero. If you believe that, uh, I've already tried to see oceanfront property across these mountains, but... Uh, I have a 10-story uh, condo building I'd like to let go for about 50000 So, full tenants, guaranteed moneymaker, just contact me, and we'll set up the sale. But, uh, as you can see, uh, came up my tomatoes. Thanks for everybody that gave me a cure for the bottom end rot. It did work. So, I've got some nice-looking tomatoes here. I'm sure my neighbors are going to be happy. I'm going to take them over tomorrow. I'm going to eat a couple for dinner tonight. I done had a tomato sandwich. Uh, still getting some nice ones. Looks like my tomato cage fell over on that one. But you can see they're looking they're looking all right. So thanks for all the tips. I appreciate it. Still getting some cucumbers, which I love cucumbers. But I've said before I really can't eat them that good. Looks like I missed one over here. And I hadn't checked the ones on the other side of the fence, so I need to go for that. Pretty nice looking cucumber. So tonight I'll probably have some cucumbers and tomatoes. And I brought them some of my canned beans up, so I may fix some green beans with it and just have a healthy dinner for a change. You can tell, well, I ain't going to show my big belly. Y'all seen that enough. But uh, a lot of stuff coming out about the raid that they all of a sudden said wasn't a raid at Mar-a-Lago. It's all a bunch of horseshoe crap. So just think once they hire the new Gestapo for the IRS, they promised them they're not going to target you, but back when uh, Barry O was president, I think 55% of the audits were on people that made under 75000 a year. And if you believe that, I I've got news for you. You're delusional. They're not going to tax the rich. The rich is always going to find a way to get out of paying their fair share. So that's just the way it is. I don't. You don't have to like it, but that's just the way it is. So this new tax, they can say all they want to that it's not going to be on us, but it will be. Inflation is a tax on us. Go get. Go get groceries. The only reason gas prices are going down so much, the economy is so slow that the demand ain't there anymore. So, whatever. The president said, Biden, potato head, said that the uh, president had no way to control gas prices. So then when they came down a little bit, he he did uh, about broke what's left of his hips taking these victory laps. So, but <clears throat> she's hung up. I might let her run for a little bit while I'm out here. I'm going to get some exercise, Rosie. Come on. No, we're not going back inside right now. She doesn't like to ride in the car, so it was an interesting drive up here, to say the least. But uh, he's not in charge. He's not in charge of anything, even his own bowel movements, I would guess. So I'm not going to get too political today. I hope you're still prepping. I hope you're still trying to put stuff away while you can because it's not getting any cheaper. If you go to the grocery store, you know that. Sorry, I'm just looking at the time on my video. I know I look shifty-eyed. 
But uh, tomorrow night at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, Angry Homesteader has invited me and Northern Prepper One to do a live stream. So I know the weekends are busy, but if you got time, uh, check it out. I hope I did all right to last time when Northern Prepper One invited me on. It's easy for me to make videos, but I have a little social anxiety. So knowing when I am talking to people live and in person, I tend to get a little nervous. So hopefully I'll do all right again. But I look forward to it. He's a really nice fella and angry as a sweetheart. So I can't wait to talk to him. And just to keep doing what you're doing. If you can grow food, grow it. If you can't, now's a great time to learn. If you're in an apartment, get some buckets. Put them on your patio, your balcony. You can do something. Any little bit will help. Uh, you know, I've been vacuum sealing rice and beans for a while. And uh, now the boys, because Cokes are expensive, I've been buying two liter RCs. I can still get them for 99 cents and they really like it. I don't drink many soft drinks anymore. So I've been cleaning those bottles out and waiting until they get good and dry. And I'm putting my rice and beans in there with the oxygen absorber. So there's plenty of channels out there to show you how to do this stuff. A lot of people know a whole lot more about this prepping and preparedness business than I do. And if you would, Send me some good thoughts because I've got something in the works if everything works out. So just, uh, I'm not going to say what it is because I'll be disappointed if it doesn't work out. So we'll see. Hopefully things will look up for OETP. And it's not been bad. I mean, I've still got a job. I still have a place to live. I still have food to eat. So I'm not doing a pity party. I could be living up in Kentucky where those poor people have just lost everything and the wildfires out west so if you want to donate to those people i had a link i was going to post and i swear i can't find it but i'm sure you could do the the red cross and stuff i know that it would be greatly appreciated so that's it join us on the live stream tomorrow night if you get an opportunity really looking forward to it i hope you have a wonderful blessed weekend and rosie's over there pooping i'm not gonna film that for you but uh like the video uh, share the video if you want to uh, comment on the video i still try to answer all the comments and just keep keep prepping keep trying to put a little back each payday if you can you don't have to go out and buy the my patriot supply or the nutrient survival or whatever you choose to do August and farms just uh cans of green beans cans of chili beans cans of corn cans of peas potatoes anything you can put back it'll last way longer than that expiration date uh, chef boy rd like spaghetti and meatballs beefaroni treat meat spam all kinds of stuff canned chicken canned beef tamales just go to the grocery store and add a few cans every time you go all right that's it i gotta go i'm gonna go in here and make me a tomato sandwich so y'all have a wonderful day adios friends